So we're having a look at another NCIX PC system. This is the Vesta 2050. So last time we were looking at the 3050 and this one has some key changes. First of all, you can see the case is quite a bit different. This is a value gaming case from Cooler Master. This is the brand new HAF 910. So you can, actually I wanted to treat this video kind of as a look at the 910 as well as as a look at this particular gaming system. It looks like, oh shoot, it looks like I managed to unplug the uh, DVI cable there. Oh, there we go. It's back. It's working. Awesome. So you can see we're running a Mafia 2 benchmark here. You don't actually have to look at that cameraman, but I'm going to go ahead and take this off. So we've got half. Okay. Half stands for high air flow. So you can see the side panel here runs with either a 120 or a 140 millimeter fan on it. You've got all the amenities inside, so you can run with, uh, let me see, two 120s, two 140s, I believe, or you can run with that looks like a 160. So you've got tons of, 200, sorry, 200. So you've got a ton of options in the top for airflow. You've got a 120 millimeter fan in the back. You've got two 120s by the look of things in the front, or those might be 92s. Let me see. Hopefully cameraman, two 120s. Two 120s in the front. All right, so let's have a look at the system spec here. So actually, no, let's continue to look at this case because there's a lot of cool stuff in here. First, you got support for two SSD drives natively. That's two two and a half inch drives, and then you've got support for an additional one, two, three, four, five, six three and a half inch drives. So you have a ton of storage options. You can also install an a, how many optical bays? Yep, we've got four five and a quarter inch bays. You can see here in the front, we've got only the one drive installed right now. You got all your usual front connectivity, reset, power all those lights, and you've got the traditional half styling. Now what's really sort of standout-ish about this case is how solidly built it is for a value case. And I mean, Cooler Master's really done a great job with their half series overall. Everything from this is now the lowest end all the way up to the half X. So let's talk a little bit about the spec of this machine. You can see we've got a different architecture here. So we're using, instead of an Intel CPU, we're using an AMD CPU. This is an Athlon 2 X4. So we do still have a quad core, even though this is a lower price system at 749. We're using an MSI motherboard. Once again, this is an Enforce board because we did want SLI support. And it also features the new GTS 450. So once again, it's with the Cyclone cooler. So we're able to maintain that level of quiet. And speaking of quiet, we've gone with a Seasonic power supply. This time around with an 80 plus bronze rating. This power supply is actually capable of powering two cards in SLI with this configuration, more than capable, and it runs dead silent because it's 80 plus bronze and it uses a quiet 120 mil fan. We've got a 500 gig drive in here for storage and obviously you can upgrade it to an SSD or a bigger drive if you want. And the uh, cameraman today is not a secret. It is actually our NCIX Ivan, the guy who runs our NCIX PC Facebook and actually does a lot of work on our PCs these days. And he wanted me to talk a little bit about Mafia 2. So we had the benchmark running, but there's a couple things that we wanted to touch on. First of all, tweaking. So at the default settings, we were able to get 29.8 FPS. So that's with physics on medium running on the video card. But there's actually a few things you can do, and you can get details on this on the NCIX PC Facebook page. You can actually tweak it so that you can turn off certain aspects of the PhysX, such as clothing. So if you, if you don't turn off clothing, but if you turn off the PhysX on the clothing, the dynamic clothing on all characters, you can actually boost that up considerably to about 37 FPS. And if you're running 37 FPS in the demo, you're actually getting a reasonably good gameplay experience. However, sometimes it's kind of fun to see the, the, the clothing whooshing around and explosions and stuff like that. So if you only leave the clothing on for Vito, and I mean the dynamic clothing, then you get around 33.3 FPS, which is again acceptable, but you don't have dynamic clothing on all the people around you. So that's something that we wanted to talk about a little bit. Uh, bear in mind, this is the OC version that comes with this system. And there's also another note here. Yes, it comes with Just Cause 2. So just in case you were curious, we have a couple Vantage benches here. So with PhysX turned off, it scores about 9,000 3D marks, which is pretty darn good for a system in this price range. And then if you turn PhysX on, just in case you have an NVIDIA card and that's your point of reference, you can see the CPU score, CPU, jumps way up 
and you get a substantially higher score, although this is the one that any Radeon users or older GeForce users are going to want to compare against. So thanks for checking out our little showcase on the HAF 912 as well as the Vesta 2050, and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips. Also, don't forget to check out NCIXPC on Facebook.